Good morning, wieners. What is cranking? Welcome back to Camp Claw. Today is an exciting day because we are about to embark on adventure. You probably know it's already about to go down, judging from the thumbnail and the title, so I won't bore you too much. But right now, we are getting packed up to send it about two hours south to camp out at a cabin on an island in the middle of the lake. This cabin has no electricity, no running water, no Wi-Fi, as you probably can guess. And uh, over the next couple of days, we are going to be fishing, sightseeing, just enjoying and seeing what it's like to live on an island and document the whole experience for you guys so you have a taste of what it's like too. I've never done anything like this before, but the other day I was on Airbnb and I was like, what kind of cool cabins are, are up here in Maine? And for the most part, it's pretty generic, bland. There's a couple that you can rent out for like $5,000 a night, which seems insane. But this cabin that we found on Airbnb was $300 a night. You get your own private island, your own private cabin, and it's surrounded by water. As a fisherman, that speaks to me. So right now we're getting the uh, the old Red Runner packed up. We've got mostly everything set and ready to go. I've got my clothes in here. We've got some uh, plates, knives, forks. Uh, we've got our battery powered refrigerator. This thing's sweet. It gets down to negative six degrees. I don't know what kind of food you would need to get down to negative six degrees, but that thing does it. We also have to pick up a generator today just so we can charge our camera gear. It's not a necessity from like a fishing standpoint, but since we are filming, we're gonna need that. In the lawn, I've got rods ranging from trout stuff, crappie stuff, bluegill stuff, of course, small largemouth, and also, we have the potential of catching a pike. You guys always seem to love when we chase after pike, and apparently this lake has got it. Uh, mind you, I've never fished this lake before, so it's gonna be kind of interesting. You excited? I'm stoked. You've never, have you ever been on a cabin in the middle of a lake before? No, no, can't say I have. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be kind of interesting. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, but that's kind of the point, right? If you're not, you know, sleeping in your own sweat or taking cold showers um, or maybe picking ticks out of your butthole, like, are, are you even having fun? Is that even a main adventure? I'm so freaking stoked. This is gonna be quite the send. I'll meet you guys there. Woo! We uh, went and got some gas. This is full. The boat's full. I'm now in debt, but hey, at least we've got fuel to go fishing. There's a guy at the gas station actually, and uh, I've ran into a lot of viewers, especially up here in Maine. And uh, this guy approached me with the statement, what was it? It was, uh, he said, oh, hey, hey, Wiener, go back to Texas. Definitely caught me off guard. Really nice guy. I don't know who he was, didn't get his name, but if you're watching this video, it was nice meeting you. Anyway, we're at Tractor Supply. We're gonna grab a generator. What else do we need? That's it, really? Just a generator? Yeah. I just got my daily workout. Lifting that thing into the boat. Thanks, Caleb, for helping me. Got the generator. We now have power. Up next, we need food. Food and white claws and water and toilet paper. We have nothing to wipe our ass with, dude. Ribs. Not Chili's baby back. Just ribs. We got steak tips. We're gonna do steak and eggs one morning. Burgers brats and some tortillas for wraps on the boat and then also a ton of cold cuts which is just just gonna help us retain water because they're so salty and full of sodium i think we're looking good though we got pretty much everything we need gonna grab eggs some cheese paper towels essentials like that and then after this we can do the fun stuff heading down south about a two hour rip so the drive's gonna suck but once we get there it's gonna be so nice gonna drop the boat in and uh, kind of get acquainted with this lake i've never fished this lake before i've never been here before it's just like completely all new i've never stayed at a cabin on the middle of the lake, so it's gonna be neat. We're gonna be surviving off of high noons and then probably some high noons this whole trip. For, so for three days, we've got roughly four cases of high noons. We should, just, we should honestly just call this the high noon challenge where we put ourselves on a deserted island and um, drink nothing but high noons for two days straight. Uh, first one to pass out loses. Or I guess wins maybe. I don't know, it depends on what perspective you look at it. Welcome to paradise, this is kind of cool. There's uh, I believe one or two ramps on this lake. So we're gonna load everything up in the lund, all of our clothes, all of our food, any sort of camera essentials and take about a, I think a 10 mile rip via Lund to the island, to our private island. I can say we, we finally rented a private island, which by the way, I think is like $300 a night. Super cheap, super cheap for what you get. Um, dude, wait, <laughs> did you see that? It's their tank. <laughs> Like, oh, their poop tank. tank. I thought it was. I thought it was like their trailer. I'm like, why is their trailer so small? Waiting on Connor to come too. He should be here in a little bit. <laughs> it's their black water tank. We thought it was maybe their tiny boat trailer. It's like their uh, Fisher Price trailer. 
good news. We're all packed up and ready to go. I'll give you guys a breakdown as to what we're bringing and how we're making this whole system possible here in a little bit, but that's where we're doing good at. We're ready to go. Bad news. We've got storms incoming. Uh, rain, high gust of wind, and uh, some pretty soupy thunderstorms. Up where Camp Claw's at, we were just hiding in the barn and everything's good, but the problem is, is we've got to take about a, I don't know, 20 minute boat ride from mainland where we're at now to the island. And I can see through the trees, it is already white capping. So <laughs> this should be pretty soupy. But here, I want to show you guys our system, what we got going on. It's a bit of a mess. Other than, of course, obvious fishing gear, here's what we're rocking with. We've got some waters, big gallon jugs. Always go with the gallon jugs or get your own water bottle and fill them up because it's always cheaper. These are like, I think two bucks, whereas like a bottle of water is like a dollar and you like get 16 ounces. So we got some waters, camera gear, camera gear, brews, two big batteries for camera gear. Same company that makes this fridge also makes these. Uh, we can also plug this into the boat before we get the generator hooked up. Cords, some food in there, wood, my clothes, some cooking essentials, catch and cook stuff, two nuts, one big, one little, little nut for small and large mouth, big nut for pike, more food, generator, gas for the boat and generator. And lastly, finishing touch, some rain. All right, you ready for this? No, I'm not. <laughs> Do you have a rain jacket? No, no I don't. Okay, so you're just gonna get soaked, huh? Yeah. All right, well, let's do this. Dude, we freaking made it. I didn't sink the boat, put her there. Absolutely crushed it, I feel like Sacagawea right now. This is our island, it's so tiny. It's so, so tiny. But uh, with it being kind of a small lake, it's easy to get to. I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked for this. Okay, next step, we gotta get out of this wind. I'm gonna park the boat on that little dock there. We're gonna take all this junk and put it on land and give you guys a tour as to where we're gonna be living over the next couple of days. I'm so freaking excited. I have not filmed something like this in a while, so I'm pretty pumped. What's cranking, wieners? Welcome to MTV Cabins. Come on inside. Here we have it. This is it. I gave you guys my initial impressions. Now, now I'm gonna show you some of the ins and outs of uh, where we'll be staying. First and foremost, when you walk in, it smells of cedar. This is a kit cabin. Apparently it was built the same year I was born, 1995. So they probably just put all this wood on a boat and then popped it up in a couple of days. It smells really good in here. It smells like, it smells like manly. You know, it smells like wilderness and bare testosterone and pine trees. You know what I'm saying? This is what uh, some of you city folks would call a, uh, you know, a studio apartment. But in reality, it's just a single room cabin with a loft. You got a little couch right here that pulls out to a bed. You've got a wood burning stove, which I don't think we'll be using today because I'm already drenched in my own sweat. As you guessed, there is no AC. There is cell service. No, there's no main electrical lines running from here because it's an island. That'd be pretty weird. Yeah, no, it's bare bones. And that's kind of something I expressed when, when we came out here. And that's that's a part of the experience. You know, you kind of want to disconnect from the world and just kind of embed yourself in the roots of nature. Pull out couch. Uh, you've got your little coffee table here. There's some entries in the guest journal, which we might read some if any of them are good. These are from all the previous guests that have stayed here. Got some artists here. Oh wow, nice little doodler. It's very cool. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two guest logs. Volume two. Volume two. Volume two is about to drop. It's gonna be a heater. Um, that's really <laughs> sentimental and neat. We did bring our own Poland Springs water, but they do collect potable water for you guys on mainland. So you could either ruin the environment or save the environment. In this case, I guess we're ruining the environment with, with plastic jugs, but anyway. Sorry, sea turtles, my apologies. Kitchen's right here. It's kind of neat, this is like an old, like, looks like an old 1950s kitchen set. Little propane, uh, two burner stove, kettle for coffee and tea. You just turn the propane on, light that hoe, and you've got fire. Place to wash dishes, your water pump. This is lake water. It's not potable, you can drink it. He did say we could drink it, but we might receive uh, a visit from the diarrhea fairy in the middle of the night. So we're not gonna do that. Perfect water for washing dishes or just washing your face or whatever. The toilet situation is pretty cool. I say cool, uh, I mean weird. Check this out. You could lock someone in the toilet too, that's pretty neat. So if Caleb's taking a poop and he's pissing me off, I'll just lock him in there. Here's the John. As you know, there's no running water in here, so you're probably guessing how do you take a poop and flush. It's a compost toilet and it's got two separate channels. One for your poops and one for your peas. 
he explicitly said no standing and going to the bathroom. Which means I have to sit down and pee. Which means Caleb has to sit down and pee. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. When you're done pooping, you have to take a scoop of sawdust, which is right here, and you have to cover your poop. And, um, I don't know. I feel like they're just f***ing with us. I feel like they just... Oh, God, it smells like poop in here. Oh, here's the rules. Please sit to pee. Prefer to stand? Find a tree. Oh, my God. I'll probably find a couple trees. <laughs> Aim your pee in the blue bucket. Uh, cover the poop well so it doesn't smell. The trash can is for used tea pee. That's nice. So I get to wipe my ass and just throw it in the garbage. I used to do that when I was a kid. I used to piss my mom off. Um, and when I said kid, I was like 18 years old. It says, thank you for your contribution. Thank you for your service. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, I guess I can show you guys how <laughs> to use it. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, here's the, here's the pooper. There is a little light in here. Are you serious? What are you doing? <laughs> hey, hey, let me out. It stinks in here, bro. It's really stinky. <laughs> well, you look at that. It's for like hanging your clothes or your towels. Wow, very, very rustic. Very rustic feel in this cabin. I feel like I'm in a, a, a cracker barrel right now with all this sh hung up on the walls. Oh my god, that's creepy. Dude, that is frightening. Ooh, I think the fact that it's dark is good. Uh, there's a picture of a little girl up here. <clears throat> Don't know what that's all about. Oh, whoever sleeps up here is gonna she's gonna stare at you. <laughs> I'll sleep downstairs. I'll, I'll I'll vote that I sleep downstairs. A creepy rocking chair that will probably start rocking at 12 a.m. in the middle of the night. Finding moose wood. Finding God. Some spiritual literature. I dig that. Queen size bed is up here. So there's really like two designated sleeping places, which is good because we got three three guys coming. Okay. So this is I believe your second bed that's down here. It's a little hammock. Or as my old buddy Alex Perry used to say, hammock. Can you imagine the whole frame just bust because my fat ass is too heavy? Oh yeah, that's nice stuff. Oh yeah. Dude. This is this is how you vacation right here. Oh man. Alright. Good night guys. Thanks for watching. Outdoor shower. I was confused when we first got in here. I'm like, where is the shower? And then I came around back and I found the shower. Um so again, no running water, which means all the pressure that comes out of the shower head comes from brute strength and you know I'm absolutely yoked so what you have to do or at least this is how it was explained to me is you have to pump this thing for how many minutes five minutes and you got to wait for that PSI needle to get to 30 right now I'm just jumping on zero so I can see this thing taking quite some time so what you do is you sweat and then by the time you're done sweating from pumping this thing you get to hop into the shower there you have it. That's how you take a shower in the wilderness. That's how to get knocked in. Did you grow up on the ocean or something? My boy Connor is here. I'm gonna go uh, scoop him. We're gonna go straight to fishing. We got some daylight left. We showed you the cabin. We got all that boring stuff out of the way. Or maybe you found it interesting. Hopefully you did. Uh, but now we're gonna go see if we can crank some fish. I don't know what really is in here. I know there's pike and smallmouth and all that good stuff, but only one way to find out, right? And that is to soak a line. You excited for this? Oh yeah, there's gonna be the stories that we post. It's a cool little. Thing. It looks sweet. Yeah, it looks sweet. It looks old. It it's looks old. It's yeah, plastic, but it's just sweet. I've never been out here, and I'm not far from it. So we're gonna chase after everything. I, I primarily focus too much on bass, but might do some perch fishing. I, I don't know. Regardless, let's get out of this freaking wind. See if we can go crank on some fish. We got out of the wind somewhat. You probably still hear it on the mic, but I think we're gonna post up here, fish, do some different stuff. We've been deep fishing for smallmouth, like for, I don't know, it seems like every time we come up here, I, I throw like a, a little drop shot or something finesse but Connor is, you're all about the green fish, primarily. Heck yeah. And he goes, he goes for the deep crank. What is that thing? Just like a, dives to what, 20? Look at the yeah, bill on that. That's it's sweet. Uh, eight foot rod, glass. It's just like Texas, man. It gets hot, it's not as hot as it as it is, you know, in Texas right now, but it's hot enough to send those fish deep like it does in Texas. And if you're fishing in Texas right now, you're throwing deep cranks, you're throwing Carolina rigs, you're drop shotting, that's it. Really, that's it. You might go up shallow, get a nice little window, but as far as like fishing, what, what, like what we're fishing right now, which is like 5 p.m., deep cranks, finesse stuff. Yeah, I might join you on that, honestly. Let's just throw deep cranks. I'm gonna ton of big grande recon. I'm gonna use one of our new reels that we're testing out. Google and cast and still in the works the prototype definitely needs a, a bit of tuning a little bit of improvement but it looks really good and it feels nice I haven't fished it since we've been up here but this is a good opportunity I can do some cranking with this got this on the 7-2 reaction rod and see if we can't 
bonk a nice large mouth. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> We're trying to fish for bass, and I think we just found some perch. Holy hell. Got that little swim bait in there. That is nuts. Holy, oh yeah, they're just chewing me up right now. They're just, oh yeah, dude, they're beating me up right now. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. Oh no, they're white perch, dog. Holy hell, they're white perch. Ah! It's a white perch. That is a giant school of white perch. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at them all, look at them all. Oh my God, this is nuts. Dude, there's so many down there. They all followed me too. Like I caught one. They're right. They're right under the boat, man. They're right under the boat. It's like bottom fishing for grouper. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, look, look, look. Oh my god. Look at them go crazy for my. Oh my god. They're like, dude. They're just like white bass. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, dude. That is insane. That is insane. That is insane. Again. That is insane. I'm on. I'm on. Let's go, baby. <laughs> dude, that is so oh, cool. <laughs> that is so insane. Oh. You're on. Let's go on the ice fishing rod. <laughs> that is so gnarly. Oh my goodness. Well, we came out here for bike and bass and we ended up finding a mega school of white Whoa. perch. They're just basically like white bass, but without the stripes. They're really good eating. They're fun to catch. They get up to like, what, four pounds? They can at least. Hey man, high five. That's what we came here for. If you can lip it, then you can grip it. Mine's got a nice uh, treat for <laughs> us. <laughs> nice. Um, all right. They're, unfortunately, they're too small to eat. Otherwise, we we probably would keep a couple. School's still there. Let's, let's get it back in it. You're on. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, I wish I had a little rod right now. <laughs> you use it? No, no, you're good. Keep going. I'm about to go into the school again. He's a big one, I think. You have a good one? I don't know. Look at him. Oh, my God. I'm on. I'm on, too. Doubles. 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 <laughs> oh, I lost my Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's dead. You're dead. You died. No, I killed him. Just kidding. It's all good. It's all good. He's fine. The nice thing about white perch is they're super hardy. <laughs> oh, dude, he pooped on me yeah. too. And I just wiped it on my shorts. Oh, no, I've got poop on my butt. That's gross. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Come on. That took no time at all. <laughs> This is honestly way more fun than bass fishing. You know why? Because it's just drop and catch. We should run our own guide service. Yeah, hey, anyone want anyone out there want to book a micro uh, white perch trip with Connor and I? Just DM Dude. us below. Oh, oh. We'll make it happen. They're they're so spiny, aren't yeah, they? And they're poop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Omei Dookie. Hold them up. That's pike bait right there. Oh, it honestly is. See ya. We got a storm brewing right now, and uh, we turned our largemouth mission into a white perch mission. Look at this. There goes my spoon. I'm just jigging it ever so subtly. All those little dots you see down there, those are ferocious little main white perch. Hang on, I'm about to catch one. Oh, yep, I'm on. Oh, it feels pretty decent, honestly. Yep. There we have it. Are we doubled? Oh, yeah. This is our like fifth double of the day. It's blowing out here, it's storming. But hey, we're having fun. <laughs> this is so cool, dude. Oh this gosh. is so crazy. I've never experienced uh, like a schooling scenario like this before. Not for real. Caleb's trying to catch his first white perch ever. Also, by the way, there's white perch poop everywhere. All that brown stuff, that is white perch dookie. You gotta catch them before we leave. Yeah, Even if it means we get struck by lightning. <laughs> Look how close they go, are. Go, go, just but look, less talky, more catchy, my guy. Let's see it happen. Oh, you just got hit. You got you out of your arm. Let's go, baby. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Caleb's first ever white bird. The biggest one, I think. Yes. Oh. Just like a Goliath grouper, man. Just like wreck fishing. In the boat. Dude, look how na It's about to get disgusting. Made it back, dodged the storm. We absolutely terrorized the white bass, or white perch, sorry. They are literally the same fish. They poop the same, they fight the same, they're just as aggressive, and they run giant schools. But um, yeah, made it back to the cabin. What do you think, man? It's pretty sweet. Yeah. It kinda looks... It's pretty rustic. It's yeah. almost like, yeah, yeah. it's almost like, you know what it looks like? It looks like a place where Jason, I was you gonna know, say, from, scary or movie like vibes. Freddy. Yeah, scary movie it, it does kinda give off a bit of a scary movie vibe. Um, 
I pan optics the whole house and we didn't find any uh, apparitions, so we should be good to go. What do you have for us, Connor? A little fresh Maine lobster roll, straight caught out of the lake. I'm over here butchering a pig. Um, no, I'm making ribs. Two racks, boys. Gonna do a quick dry rub, let her cook for a bit. Oh, dude, that looks so good. That's a good combination right Courtesy there. of. Courtesy of Connor for bringing the. Is your mom? No, your mom said that she, she had some in the freezer. Yeah. yeah. Growing up as a kid, when you know you go around class, it's like, "What's your name? Your favorite food?" Mine was like, "My name's John, spelled J-O-N without the H." And my favorite food is uh, cookie dough ice cream and lobster. That's what I used to always say. Another one. That is not a bass. <laughs>